Greetings and salutations, this is Imperator Vespasian bringing you another update for my Black Templar army. Um, we're getting near the end now, we've done quite a lot of them. Um, these are Terminators, and these are Terminators straight out of the standard Terminator box. Um, if you want to do anything special, I would suggest you wander off and get the Terminator for something like the Blood Angels, and then use the spare, um, the replacement shoulder pads and stuff, which is what you can see here, swap them out and you can have yourself um, take all the Blood Angel stuff off and put something like this on and then you can have a really good assault squad with all blades. Um, that'll look really good. Um, but I wanted the standard Terminator unit for this so I went for the standard Terminator box. So all the Terminators really have is Storm Bolters, Power Gloves and Chainsaws and stuff like that. Because that's the kind of theme I was going for. Given that this is a pretty I wanted it to be a regular type of Terminator unit. Um, so these are normal Terminators that come out of the box, however they're all upgraded with the upgrade kit that you get in the um, Black Templar's upgrade box. Um, I've, I've talked about this box all the time, it's got spare shoulder pads, spare weapons, um, all sorts of spare stuff including the flag that you get with this and um, all sorts of things that you can upgrade your figures with to make them look really awesome. And that's what these are all done with, that's what the shoulder pads are, they've got the cross on them, um, which makes them really awesome. And so that's what I did, I just got a standard Terminator box and upgraded them. Um, so squad wise I went with a sergeant, as this guy here, with a black power sword and storm bolter. Then I went for two subordinates with um, chain fist, so they've got a, a, a nice little chain fist for close combat, and the storm bolter. Then I've got a standard trooper with a power fist and a storm bolter. Then I've got a heavy flamer with power fist. And that's kind of what I wanted to do. So basically I've got two power fist armed troops for close combat, two chain, so, chain fist um, troops for close combat and one guy with a sword. So as far as um, the troops are concerned, uh, they're terminators so they move five inches. Um, I will actually make a mention of terminators given that we're doing terminators and that's in 8th edition terminators have got a raw deal. Um, all they do is they just get a plus one save and they're in vulnerability field. That's all they've got. In the old game, like back 7th edition and or before that, you rolled two dice and you had to roll over three plus, uh, two plus, was it two plus? And um, that meant they were very, very hard to kill. Actually, Terminators are way easier to kill now, um, and but they still are very slow. So it's not like they get a huge amount of benefits in 8th edition, they've got a pretty raw deal. That being said, uh, let's go through the equipment, shall we, and, and why I chose what I chose. So, they've all got a Storm Bolter, you all know what that is. Now, the Black Sword is a specialist weapon used by the Imperial Fists and the Black Templars. Um, it's like an obsidian blade, and all my Imperial Fists and Black Templars have the Black Sword. Um, it's a bit like the way that um, the... Oh, which, which, which chapter is it? It's the Space Wolves. They have the sort of glass swords uh, made out of ice and stuff. Um, so these guys have black swords made out of obsidian. So we have uh, the black sword will give you a plus two to your strength. So instead of the normal plus one you get with the power sword, in fact, do, do you? Yeah, plus one. Um, you get a plus two. So your black sword goes up to strength of seven, which is actually really good. Uh, minus 3 AP and D3 damage plus 1 attack. That's actually really good. That, that means your sergeant is going to have himself 3 attacks with strength 7. That's, that's good, that's good. Um, each with D3 damage. Then we've got the power gloves and that's the individual trooper there with the power glove on, his, on there and that's the power glove you get in the box, in the upgrade box. And then you have another power glove here which is also from the upgrade box. And the power glove is strength 8, of course, minus 3 AP and D3 damage uh, with a plus 1 to hit. So, sorry, it's minus 1 to hit, different one. Uh, minus 1 to hit because it's a lot harder to use. Then we have the two chain fist armored troops, and these are the real close combat guys. Again, strength 8, 
minus 3 AP, 3 damage, so instead of the Power Fist you roll a D3 and you get 1 to 3 damage. It's, 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 a, a, it's a roll to see how many damage you do. The Chain Fists here, they do 3 damage set. So you've got automatic 6 damage between them, automatic without rolling. That's, that's better, they're the real close combat troops. Um, and whereas the Power Fist has a minus 3 to hit, these get a plus 1 to hit. So the Chain Sword gives you a plus 1 to hit. Oh uh, no, yeah, a plus, plus 1 attack. Sorry, sorry, that's my bad, my bad. I was thinking about the, um, the other one. So, um, so you get a plus 1 attack, so you get um, 3 attacks in close combat with a weapon that does 3 damage, so that's 9 damage, that gives you 18 damage in total between those two troopers. So, given that it's strength 8, minus 3 AP, you can take tanks out quite easily with a chain fist. Uh, more so than the, than the power fist. They're also equipped with frag grenades and a melter bomb for opening doors. Um, and you also have the heavy flamer, that's this guy here. And the flamer is something I've, I've gone for a lot more with, the, with this particular army. I've, I've issued way more flamers than I would normally because he kind of fits the, the Templar's sort of way of cleansing planets. Um, the Flamer seems to be a nice a nice weapon to nail large numbers of troops. Really, this, um, this army I put together, it's for taking on things like Orcs and Tyranids. Um, it's not really going to be much good against um, high, high tank sort of units and things like that which is why the Terminators have been added to my army. So these give me an ability to take down heavy infantry and tanks, these guys here. Uh, whereas my normal troops, they're really there to take on light infantry. So we have the uh, Silent of Melt Bombs and stuff, I've already gone through that. Right, because they're to wear in Terminator armor, they get the 5 plus invulnerable save. That is pretty good. That means 1 in 3 shots are going to do nothing to you. Um, they're also relentless, which means they can fire without modification when moving. Um, this is because they're in Terminator armor, so they have sponsors and stuff which, which bounce them. So, uh, whereas normal Marines move around and if they advance they can't fire, and if, if they're moving they can't fire. Uh, if they're moving they get a minus one. Uh, these guys actually don't get that because they're in Terminator armor, which is pretty cool. Uh, they also carry a teleport homer. Um, so you can deep strike within 9 inches of the enemy, so you don't need a drop pod, you can just deep strike with these guys. Um, and then their special abilities are uh, Uphold the Honour of the Emperor, which is, you know what that is. Um, then you've got No Pity, No Remorse, No Fear, which is Fearless in Close Combat. And then Black Templar Tactics, which means you must pass a leadership test to fire on, on, other ta or on targets that are uh, not the closest target. Uh, one downside to the Templar army, um, they will engage whatever is closest to them because that's the sort of guys they are. They're just going to try and nail the person closest. If you're, say, fighting Tyranids, which is what this army is primarily built for, um, you're going to want to take down maybe the Hive Tyrant or the Broodlord. And if the Broodlord is behind the Gene Stealers or the Gaunts, um, then you don't, don't want to waste ammo on the Gaunts, you want to take down the Broodlord. However, because you are Templars, you are going to have to roll your leadership in order to be able to engage the Broodlord. Um, so, that could get annoying and it could slightly affect the way you play your game, but just remember you've got the rule, so when you're playing them, it's not going to affect you. So, play, play the army to the strengths of the army. And that's roughly about it. Uh, they don't have anything particularly special about them. Um, I would mention that the, they are of course descended from the Imperial Fists and so they are descended at least chronologically um, from the self same Terminators who beamed aboard Horus's flagship to take on Horus um, which is something that will come up in a later video when I do the Imperial Fists. So they have a really good lineage and some of this Terminator armor will be left over from those days. These stone things on their arm, the skull on their arm, is left over from the original plate used by those Terminators who fought and died alongside the Emperor. Um, but that's, that's for a later video, you don't want to hear that now. 
So that's the Terminators. Uh, oh yeah, they're also an elite choice, you should know that. And they're really expensive, <laughs> so you, they're going to put you back a bit. Um, I would think you might actually be better off in, in, in a standard army that you're building, not even bothering with these guys. Um, for me, they're really a vanity project because I wanted to have the Terminator squad in my army because it's a traditional army. Um, although with 8th edition, you're probably best with slightly faster moving troops um, and just uh, deck out your army with sword brethren and stuff like that. Maybe a heavy weapon squad might be a better choice than deploying these Terminators because they are rather expensive. They're twice the cost of a normal Black Templar squad. Uh, that's a five-man squad, not a full ten-man squad. So they're the same price as a ten-man squad, and a ten-man squad would get ten men. So you're only getting five with this. And of course the Terminator armor doesn't really, really help you other than the invulnerability save. Um, so it's really up to you what you do. But if you're doing a Templar army, you might want units like this just for vanity reasons. Um, uh, what I might do is augment the squad later on with another five troopers, make it a ten, make it a, a ten man squad, and that way I can have a, a lot of lightning claws put in, which would be great for the class combat, um, because these are designed to take on tanks and, and heavies, um, which I've already explained. Hence the weaponry that I've equipped them with. They're there really to give me an anti tank ability or a heavy anti heavy ability that my normal troopers don't have. Um, so they're really to bolster my forces, they're not an assault force, um, they're just to support my infantry. So that's it. Um, kindly leave any comments if you have any, any comments you would like to leave in the comment section. Um, leave a like if you thought the video was remotely interesting. And I have quite a few videos on the Black Templars at this point, and including quite a few other armies that I've already done. I have a lot more to come, so please look out for them. I have Space Wolves on their way. I have um, actually quite a few armies to come, so keep a look out. And there's, there's some little people coming too, which you might want to look out for. Think people with beards who are quite small. Right, so that's been Imperator Vespasian. Leave a comment in the comment section, and goodbye.